And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well Lahoiri. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah his wife, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord had entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together with her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one of the people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder should serve the younger. And when her days were to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first one came out red, all over like a hairy garment, and they called him Esau. And after that, his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and the name he was called Jacob. And Isaac was three scores old when she bare them. And the grew, boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage. I am faint. Therefore was the name he was called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore to him, and, his, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils. And he did eat and drink, and he rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. In reflecting on this account in my quiet time, with troubled thoughts. It was an epiphany of sorts. But could it be? The very life choices of the persons about me, day by day, choosing the bowl of beans instead of what is of true value.
her now. But consider, even getting the best this present world offers and what it will really cost you, the consequences of the wrong choice.
God's truth for what we lie becomes so hardened and so irreverent to the end they stop at all that is true and reject what is godly. this life in the here and now. They think little of the eternal and the ultimate consequences of their poor choices. Yet, still choosing to believe the lies of this present age in spite of the truth being obvious, Still, there are a few who God has set apart, called by his name, the wise who understand. The world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. This present age is passing away. Here now, and soon to be remembered no more. 